I felt very privileged that I was able to be the person at the center of this asking the tough questions. Anybody would have loved to undertake, you know, to sort of get inside this story of the biggest Ponzi scheme of all time and, you know, the biggest financial scandal in history. The process of writing this book was unlike anything I'd ever undertaken. It was incredibly, you know, sort of time consuming and it required a lot of thought and a lot of, um, a lot of effort and I wasn't sure that it was ever going to come together but, you know, in the end, the fact that I had five different voices contributing to this one story gave me so much more depth and color than I could have gotten if I had just had access to one. They had never discussed this before, and I watched Andrew do his best to force Ruth to see Bernie through the lens that the rest of the world and Andrew sees him, which the word that came to mind was monster. You got to sit with us um, for a long time and through a lot of difficult conversations. We, you know, there, there's, a, there's a lot of attention in the book paid to uh, my father's affair uh, or affairs, and um, her reaction to that and uh, that was one of the um, sort of the more difficult conversations that I've ever had with her. Um, basically, uh, and, and, and we do get into this in the book, but <clears throat> making sure that she was going to hold him accountable for what he did to her. And I felt it was important, um, you know, it wasn't easy for me to do, but I really felt it was important for her to feel that pain. As a human being, when you're sitting down with a mother who's just recently lost her son to suicide, the last thing you want to do is ask probing and difficult questions. But I did, and what came out of it was just astonishing. I watched the entire world assume your guilt, as I did. Yeah, for me it was, I think, really the double whammy. It's not just that I'm the son, um, but I'm the son who had a very close relationship, and we worked together. I mean, I worked in the business, and while the businesses were completely separate and um, you know we I, I think people people um, can't uh, and and shouldn't necessarily just assume out of the shoot that oh well their businesses are separate because unless you know that you wouldn't know it I, I don't necessarily expect people to give me the benefit of the doubt or come into a situation and assume the best um, all I hope is that people make an effort if they're going to pass judgment, which people have a right to do, at least try to get some of the information. I think the most poignant scenes in the book were certainly around Mark's suicide. Um, he, you know, had had a previous suicide attempt, and Andrew provided incredible detail about that first suicide attempt and what it was like standing by his brother's bed. and feeling such anger and sadness at the same time that Mark was ready to leave his four children and his response was, how else are, am I going to make mom and dad see what they've done? I have dreams all the time about him. I think about him all the time. I will always and forever be interested in hearing intimate stories um, and I'm always interested in getting to the truth even if the truth is not popular. People have asked me if, uh, if I want my father to read the book, and I think he probably will read the book. I don't care what his opinion about it is. I'm not seeking his approval. If he likes it, it's not going to make me happy. If he doesn't like it, it's certainly not going to bother me. Um, his opinion just doesn't matter to me at all.